Well, hello, fellow stampers. This is Wendy Klein with Doggone Delightful Stampin'. I am so excited and honored to be here with you today. Um, per the request of Split Coast Stampers to present this tutorial on these beautiful 3D star ornaments. I actually created this ornament last year, and so I'm excited to uh, revive it and bring it back and show it to you today. So let's get started. All of my supplies will be Stampin' Up. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so that would be the reason why. However, there's nothing here that you can't find somewhere else. For example, I'm using our, our Nested Stars framelits here, and the reality is, is that there's a lot of beautiful nested framelits out there. My favorite thing, Simon Says Stamp, uh, a number of those uh, spellbinders, they all make beautiful nested dies. So don't feel like you have to have Stampin' Up! to make this ornament. Let's get started here. The first thing that I want to do today is just show you, just take a minute here and show you how I handle my nested dies. You'll see that I have these numbered from the inside out. One, two, three, four, five. And as I do this tutorial today, I'm going to refer to these in, the, in those numbers. And we will, start, we will be starting with the largest one on the outside, the number five star, and working our way in as we make this ornament. This is an easy way to uh, help you organize and figure out what you're doing when you're creating something, so you might give it a try. Um, so I've pre-cut all my stuff today, and I will talk you through each one of these. You need a big shot or a die cutting machine of some kind to do this project. Um, die cut is my machine of choice but there's lots again there's lots of wonderful machines out there again I've pre-cut all my pieces so let's just talk through each one of this you want to start with your largest star for me that's my number five in my star die set and you're going to cut that out I'm using a brushed silver cardstock this is actually retired for us now but it is one of my favorites and I have a stash and a hoard that I keep on hand I use the Simply Scored. You can use any, again, you can use any uh, scoring tool that you like. What I want you to do is score each arm to elbow on the star. So you just line that up and you're just going to score that and you're going to turn it and you're going to do that for each one. Just kind of eyeball line that up. Don't panic if you go off. You won't ruin anything. You can just adjust slightly and get that line to line up. So we're just scoring each arm to elbow is what we call that. And when you have all five of them done, make sure that I've got that lined up correctly. I think I eyeballed that just a little bit wrong. That's what happens when you start getting old. All right, when you've got each one of those done, we'll set that aside for a minute. Now what I want you to do is I want you to fold each arm like this, fold what I call out, and fold each elbow in like that. All right, can you see that okay? Oh, we missed one. See, I got moving too fast. Let me just move that right back in there real quick. And we'll just run that right down like that. All right. Now again, as I was showing you here a minute ago, fold each arm so that it's out like this, each elbow in. Just kind of give that a nice little crease on your score line. Okay, and as you work each one, you'll see the 3D effect start to take on your star. And so in the end, it'll look like this, okay, kind of give you that, that feel and that 3D effect. All right, so we'll just set that aside for a minute. Now your second star, star number two is what I call this in the tutorial below, um, is cut from 
the number four star, the next one in on your die set. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to score this from arm to elbow. On each star tip. Just like that. I'm trying not to hurry too much because if I hurry too much I'll catch it wrong and I don't want to do that or miss a tip like you saw me do a minute ago. So here we go. I think this is the last one here. All right. Same thing that we did with the largest star, the brush silver star. I want you to fold these down and out and your elbows inward, just like that. Each one, take a little bit of care. Now what I did here on star number two is I used designer series paper and I specifically looked for a vintagey uh, kind of look. This one is a, a note, a musical note type paper. Uh, this comes from our cozy Christmas paper, but you can use anything that makes you uh, think vintage. Gives it kind of a nice little offset. A, a black and white to go with the silver is what I'm looking for. So now you can see we've got our 3D effect here with the star, just like that. All right. Our next star now is going to be cut with the number three and an inside, the center, cut out with the number one. This is cut from a silver foil. So now we're going to get kind of a, a shiny look to the third dynamic of our star. This one we're going to put a little more detail into. So now I'm going to bring in a paper a piercing mat here. And Stampin' Up! has a piercing guide that actually matches our star framelits. And that's the one that I'm using here today with a paper piercer. And what I want to do is I want to line this up. You can kind of see how that lines up there. And I want to punch all the outs outer edge holes and all the inner edge holes. So we'll just follow our guide and we'll just do that really quick here. I like the little bit of extra look this gives. So hang tight for just a minute. We'll just go around this star really, really quick. So this is the outer edge of this guide, and then we'll do this inner one really quick here. Give our star a little bit of extra interest. bit of a pattern. See how that looks? That's kind of cool. Alrighty, set that aside for us there. Now, the last thing we'll do with this star is again, we're going to score it arm to elbow. Now when we've got the center cut out like this, you want to be a little more careful and gentle. This is a little more delicate than the others were. The others are pretty sturdy because they're just solid all the way through. So just follow that down, put that crease in, arm to elbow again. Just like that. 
Bear with me here for a minute and we'll work our way around this star and see how we do this. All right, and then when we've done all our star points one more time here, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the other two. The same fold, out on your points, on your arms, in on the elbow, just the same thing. Now foil is kind of cool because it feels like it uh, almost is kind of like a soft metal and that kind of holds the shape really well with foil so that's kind of a cool thing. So we'll just pop this here like this and now you can see how that comes together there. All right, now you need star number four. This is a final star. This one is going to use our number two framelit and the number one in the center to cut it out. All right, and we're going to leave this one flat and straight. We're not going to do anything to it. Now here's the series. This is the array that I did here. I started with brushed silver. Uh, a vintage uh, black and white or uh, off off white and, and black uh, silver foil and then back to the brushed silver this was my combination for this the final piece you need for this is a die cut sentiment I'm using joy here this is from our wondrous wreath framelits if you want to know that that's what that's from and I cut that out of our silver glimmer paper. So my final top for this will be very sparkly and just kind of catch attention. Now let me show you how we put this together. You're going to attach these in series. You're gonna attach star number two to star number one. And what I want you to do is just take dimensionals here and we're gonna put these on two of the elbows on the back side like this and then a third elbow right below that so you kind of get this synchronous feel here that will help us balance our star when we lay it on the star behind it without having too much overwhelming adhesive okay so now what you want to do is take your star here, we'll make this our top, and you're going to kind of offset this just a little bit. We'll feel where our dimensionals are, and then we're going to bring that down to the right just slightly, attach those couple of dimensionals that you feel under there to the arms that are up underneath. Have those attached there, and you can feel them. You can feel them go on, and that third one down here. So that you kind of just offset it, come down just a little bit. We're going to do the same thing with star number three. I'm going to put this here on two of your backside arms. And then a third one down here, just like that, okay? And then we'll attach that We'll attach that Again, kind of Shifting downward to the right, kind of diagonal it off the other one. We're trying to get a little bit of dimension here. Just kind of, kind of do what makes you feel good. There's no set way of doing this. I don't want you to feel like there's a right or a wrong. There's not. And you can kind of see as I attach and get those dimensionals to attach underneath. Okay. Now this star that we've left flat we're actually going to use some glue dots on 
And I'm just going to attach just a couple of glue dots. You don't need a lot. About three again. And we'll do these on a couple of points here. Three points I think will work for us. All right. And then again, you're going to go the opposite way now. And we're going to kind of just attach that to the star behind it. All right. However you want it to look. I think this works for me. I'm all right with that. Each one's different, so don't feel like there's a right or a wrong. It's, there's no such thing. Finally, we're going to take our two-way glue pen and just on the center of your sentiment in some of the widest parts, put a little bit of two-way glue. All righty. And then we're going to just center that right across so that it kind of attaches, oops, kind of attaches, <laughs> no it does attach. Give that a minute, two-way glue needs just a few minutes to dry and um, adhere. Kind of put that across the center so that it lays there. Now, our final touch is a little bit of ribbon to hang our ornament with. We're going to use a 1 8 hole punch. And we'll go back to this star point here on the back star, number one star that we picked as our back, our, our main star. This is the top that we picked. We're going to just put a little hole in there, just like that, okay? And then we'll pull a little bit of ribbon of choice. Now I'm using a silver, a 1 8 inch uh, silver ribbon here. I'm just going to pull it through that hole, two ends together. If it won't cooperate for me, I'm going to pull it through the hole. I think I'll pull each piece independently here today. All right, today it's going to be difficult for me. <laughs> Usually it works a little bit easier than that, but we'll get it here. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to just put a knot in that real quick here. Because I picked a little bit of a shorter piece of ribbon here. I'm having a little more trouble than I usually do. So you pick the length of ribbon that works for you, however long you want this to hang on your tree or wherever you're going to put it. This is a fabulous little gift for, for friends and family. Beautiful little homemade gift. Alright, we're just going to pull that through there. We're going to have that here like this, and then we're going to just pull this piece here and put a ribbon around the base of that. A bow. We're going to make a bow. Just like this. See, it's really not too hard. It looks, it looks harder than it really is, I think which is the beauty of an ornament like this. Somebody getting this would just be like, wow, you know, that's pretty cool. So we like to wow our gift recipients. And voila. I didn't get that bow quite perfect, but it's good enough. All right, so when you're all done, there you go. Not too hard, not too shabby. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial today and that you will give these cute little ornaments a try.